ready to um, leave comments. Anyway, we'll shut down out of that. Now, as we can see over here, we've got a number of buttons to do with uh, manage manage lists. Uh, we've got remove duplicate URLs, which is um, self-explanatory, but good to do when you're um, commenting um, on the blogs because you don't want to be doubling up and hitting the um, same blog um, multiple times. So we'll go ahead and remove duplicates. It's found three. Remove those. Uh, you've also got the same here for remove duplicate domains, which will only leave unique domains such as here we go we've got three here uh, geekwithlaptop.com so if we go ahead and hit that it'll strip out those um, duplicate domains so they're all unique um, totally unique uh, we've got check page rank um, same thing here again with the uh, I'll just actually search a few um, same thing here Scrapebox will, will whiz through those, grab the page rank, um, it uses proxies when it does it, um, it will rotate them to avoid being blocked, um, if any are blocked it will skip them, move on until it um, goes through, so we'll just stop that there, we don't really want page rank, we can sort it by page rank when we're done, we can sort the URLs alphabetically, so there we have it, we've got our URLs um, import uh, URL list, you can import a list saved on your on your PC um, import and replace the current list, so that will wipe out those and replace it with another, you can merge lists together so it will add it onto the bottom of these uh, select the URL list to compare All right, what that one does is You've got uh, URLs in your harvester, you've just harvested them, you might want to comment on them, um, however you don't want to comment on blogs that you've already commented on before, you don't want to look like a spammer, so you can select the URL list to compare. So if we go into the comment poster we can find say a WordPress, WordPress list that I've commented on before none removes so that's good um, all these are unique I've never commented on those before if it found anything on the um, list saved on me PC would have removed those out of here and only left uh, unique URLs that I'd never commented on um, we've got export URLs and page rank which is sort of self-explanatory um, export as text, export as CSV, export as HTML which is pretty um, interesting you can you can export it straight out as a HTML file upload it to your server and you've got a, a web page with all these URLs with clickable links um, <clears throat> down here we've got your harvesting buttons and you've got a list button in this list button here you've got uh, transfer URLs blogs list for commenter and what that'll do it'll send these URLs down into here for the uh, commenter I'll probably make another video that uh, covers commenting in a little while and these are all to do with that so we'll just leave that for now but that's that's it in a nutshell that's the um, harvester um, the custom footprint as I said that's just um, it's not looking for any inbuilt footprint so if you remove everything out of here type a word in in the footprint test and you hit search that's just like going to Google and typing test in the search box it's no different there's nothing added to your query or anything like that you just search straight out test another thing you can do is you can put in uh, Google search operators um, will put in in URL I'll just remove that out of there in URL and down in here uh, I had ringtones so I'll put that again ringtones phones and I'll do another search I'll remove those proxies because they're not real good 
Okay, and we'll, we'll harvest those. That there, it's split over two over the the footprint and the keywords, but um, it's just like going to Google and typing that in the search box. It's as simple as that. And here's our our URL list, all to do with phones. Um, no footprint. They're just the top ranking URLs that have got uh, these keywords in the URL somewhere. So you can see this one's got ringtones, this one's got ringtones all in the URL so that's a good way of finding relevant um, blogs. We harvested 200 because we've told uh, Scrapebox here we want a hundred um, URLs per keyword and we've got two keywords so that's done with that one. Clear uh, this here you can you can save your own um, see how that's added there that I just typed you can save your own um, custom footprints and next time you start Scrapebox it'll be available from the list um, you can do things like site um, well actually there's one there site edu okay we'll clear those we'll do a search again And that's often harvesting. That's looking for ed dot edu domains or education domains uh, with the keyword ringtones or phones in them. And as you can see here, it's pulled a lot of duplicates because there's not that many. But all domains here are education domains. You can do the same thing when you're harvesting WordPress blogs. So instead of using custom, we'll click it over to WordPress, we'll clear those, we'll go and harvest again. Not too sure how many uh, education blogs we've got with ringtones and phones, but here we go, we've found a few. Um, just open one up in the browser and, and take a look at this. And that's it there. WordPress blog, comment form, somebody's already been in left to comment um, but that's it that's on ucsb.edu so there we go nice way to find um, authority domains these things usually got plenty of page rank um, so that's another good way of um, searching for um, good places to drop your link when you're commenting with um, Scrapebox so alrighty then so that that covers the harvester pretty much I think um, and that's it in a nutshell um, Scrapebox is pretty powerful tool once you get the hang of it I'm still um, learning myself but um, I see a few people asking questions on you know how do I do this what's this for and it can be overwhelming because there is a lot of stuff this um, application can do and I mean the um, the author's always updating it, um, new releases out all the time, new functionality. Um, you now it's grown so much in the couple of weeks that I've had it, but um, great application, uh, 47 bucks. It's too cheap, if anything. So I'll probably do another video and cover the commenter and a couple other features. Alright, thanks everyone.